Hello YouTube and welcome to another general vlog video. Today is going to be another cooking day and we're going to make homemade french fries and shrimp with homemade cocktail sauce. So I'm going to kind of show you what I do on this and let me get everything set up and we'll get started. Yeah, I got to keep reaching up here because I am my own camera. Alright, so let's get started. First we're going to wash our hands. And then, since it's only me, I'm going to, going to use two small potatoes. We'll put the potatoes in there and we'll clean them up really good. Just kind of rub them with your hands. It's what I do. I mean, it's just dirt. God made dirt. Dirt don't hurt. I've already got my grease over here warming up. So basically what we're going to do is we're going to take one of these, I got my little paring knife, and we're just going to start slicing. I don't like consistency in my french fries when I make them homemade. I do like, you know, just some thick, some thin, some extremely thin, some extremely thick. So, I'm not perfect, you know, I don't use any kind of a slicer or dicer. And we'll just slice them up just about like that. And then we'll take and we'll make a few little slices like this. Make sure they separate really good. Some of my cuts might come out to be like more like a wedge. Some of them might be straight, some of them be fat, some of them be skinny. And I'm making this in here kind of thin. I like the crispy ones. Normally I would do just one potato, but I'm thinking make these up and then whatever I don't eat now, later on when I watch a movie, it's Friday night, I may watch a movie tonight or I may just binge watch YouTube, I don't know. But I figured that might give me something to munch on if there's any extras. Now I'm making quite a few of these thin. Like see these are kind of thick. So I don't want double thick. So I'll cut these here kind of thin. Just like that. Now this one here is kind of thick, so we'll do the same thing. Should have turned that over to cut it, makes it a whole lot easier. There we go. That one's kind of thinnish, so I might do some thicker ones out of this one. Just get a little different consistency in them. Do a little thicker out of this one. Food don't have to be boring. So just by simply customizing your, your homemade potato french fries, um, it just kind of takes the boredom out of it. You get a thick one, you get a thin one, you get a crispy one, you get a you know a thicker one that, that's not raw, but it's not completely crispy. So there's that. Those are all ready. We use just your standard 
your, your standard breaded butterfly shrimp. Most usually I don't buy butterfly. Most usually I buy popcorn shrimp. But I figured this time why not. I'll go ahead and open those up. And I will kind of try to open them up fairly neatly because I will only eat half of this box. There we go. So now that that's, we're still waiting on the deep fryer to heat up. So while we're waiting on the deep fryer to heat up, we'll go ahead and uh, take this bowl and this fork here. Oh, let's see. Do, 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 do. Shake your ketchup up really good. Now this is all I do to make mine. This is going to be the cocktail sauce. I'm going to take a good amount because I like it spicy. If you don't like it that spicy, don't use that much. It's all common sense here, people. Go ahead and put that back in the refrigerator. And there's a the loudness. And then we'll add some ketchup. Not very much at first. And just start getting it all mixed up in there. And I'll take and add a little bit more. There we go. And you can see we're just mixing it and stirring it. I don't like the cocktail sauce that they offer because it doesn't, it's not spicy enough for me. So now that I got that, I will take and try a little bite. Yeah, that's pretty good. Rinse my fork off because we don't want to double dip. Now, I come over here and I grab a little bit of garlic powder and I grab a little bit of onion powder. Not a lot. And then my key ingredient. is meat tenderizer. Once again, you don't want a whole lot because this is going to make it kind of salty. And give her a good old stir up here. As you can see, I didn't make up a bunch. It looks like there's more than there is actually in there. I like to stir it up there pretty good. We'll taste it one more time. Oh, that's about perfect. And yeah, as you've seen, I just double dipped. But it's okay. It's mine. Nobody else is eating it. up now you can add hot sauce in this you can do whatever you want to do so right now we are waiting on the um, deep fryer to heat up so this is just something I, I like to do I like homemade french fries better than I do store-bought french fries. Uh, of course, I like McDonald's french fries better than all of it, but that's besides the point. I love these. They're really, really, really good. And as you can see, you know, like these, I think, what, there's four of them here? Five of them? Yeah, there's even five. See how thin and crispy? Oh, man, that's going to get really, really, really crispy. 
So I will do my French fries first because it doesn't take long at all to do shrimp. So like two minutes to do shrimp. Um, actually, before I tell you that, let's get the old man glasses out. Let's just see what it does say it takes. <laughs> well, I know. Okay, here we go. Pre oil fryer to 350. Let me make sure that's what I put it on. And that is what I put it on. Yeah, two. Two minutes to three minutes so so basically what we'll do we'll put half those in there go ahead and get my plates out now I like to run two layers on here we'll do our french fries first and then we'll do our shrimp because it won't take long on the shrimp French fries will still be hot, but we'll be ready to go. So as soon as this heats up, I'll bring you right back. And don't forget, I'm still my own camera guy. Okay, and we're back. And I think the French fries are done. Let's wash our hands here. And see what we got. Let's go ahead and uh, stick about half this shrimp in there. And it's going to pop and fizzle and all kinds of stuff. used half so there's probably three meals in a box for me so I closed it all up and I'll put it back in the freezer all right let's see what we got here let's get this down in the grease make sure I'm still plugged in all right so we'll give that about two minutes and we'll come over here and we'll look at the french fries. French fries look really, really, really good. I mean like extremely good. And I gotta cheat and try one. Mmm. That was a little crunchy one too. Oh. So I'll go ahead and put me a little ketchup on the plate. Not a whole lot, just a little bit. And we'll see how the shrimp goes. Like I said, it takes about no more than three minutes to do the shrimp. Go ahead and rinse off my knife. We got great cocktail sauce and oh, that, them French fries absolutely look beautiful. I gotta have another one. Mmm. Mmm. 
That is good. I think I'll even have one and dip it in the uh, cocktail sauce. Give them a couple minutes to cook, and I'll bring you right back. Okay, and we're back. And I want you to look at this. There it is. Look at how nice that shrimp turned out. Look at that. That's just beautiful. A little bit hot, but beautiful. So, there it is. Homemade fries, shrimp, and homemade cocktail sauce. So I'm getting ready to say goodbye to you great people and go enjoy my YouTube. And I think Pure Living for Life just put up a new video on their woodworking tools. I think I'll go watch that and eat. I've already got my ice cold Pepsi in there, my little Debbie snack cake for dessert. And my beautiful meal that I will not be able to eat all of it, but I will try my best. So I'm going to get off here. Once again, this is a general vlog video. Give us a thumbs up. Comment down below. Please, please, please subscribe. And when you do, click that bell notification. Go up and click all so you'll be notified every time we post a new video. And I hope you guys have a great day. And even better tomorrow. And an awesome night. And I might be able to rock out on making some homemade french fries and shrimp, but I'm still my own cameraman. So you know what that means. We got to get up close and personal. I got to poke you in the ear and we'll see you on the next video. Hope you guys have a great Friday night.